Good morning you guys and welcome to another vlog. I am currently getting ready for the day but I just thought I would quickly just introduce this vlog and then we can kind of get on with what we're going to do today. I want to make some content today just a little bit because to be honest with you I'm not feeling too good. I'll get into that in a second. I think that this is going to be the last vlog before the Christmassy ones start. I'm starting um, Vlogmas early this year. I'm gonna do something that I'm calling pre-Vlogmas, um, which is basically the days leading up to Vlogmas are gonna be together in a vlog as well. My cough has come back. I mentioned in the last vlog, I think it was, that my cough had started to come back, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna come back completely or if it was just something that was gonna pass. It has definitely come back, it is quite bad um, and to be honest with you I'm at a point with this cough where it's starting to get me down, like it is really frustrating, it's really time consuming, it's energy zapping, like I just don't have the energy to do anything really. As I've mentioned my Christmas plans start next week and I'm actually going on a trip with Katie or at least that's the plan. Um, there's been a few things that um, we've seen and heard that is making me anxious that it's not going to happen. But um, I'm just trying not to think about it and worry about it, whether it's going to happen or not. I'm just keeping going as if like it's definitely happening and um, kind of cross that bridge when we come to it type of thing. Also, if you have seen um, my last vlog you'll know this but tomorrow I actually have an appointment at the hospital but I'm actually going for an ultrasound tomorrow on my neck for the lump that I have in my neck Um they're gonna take a look at it and see if they can kind of figure out what they think it is I'm gonna finish getting ready now anyway I'm gonna stop rambling because I'm literally just talking for no reason you may also be able to hear that my voice keeps trying to go again so um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to sound like for the majority of this vlog and I'm also not sure what I'm going to sound like for Vlogmas because I was really hoping we were going to be past all this and I was going to be able to do Vlogmas and be like completely fine but yeah there is a chance that in Vlogmas you're going to have to listen to my voice sounding absolutely gross like I did in Vlogtober. Now I'm going to make a drink and I think I'm going to make some toast as well. I have had some breakfast this morning but I feel quite hungry for some reason and let me tell you this so I have a new favorite thing when it comes to certain meals Katie gave me this the other day and she was like try it or let me know and it's a block of salted butter and let me tell you it tastes exactly the same as the one that they give you in the cafes and things. So I have been obsessed with this lately. I know it looks like it hasn't been used, it has. I've been scraping it from this side. Salted butter is my new favorite thing. Um, obviously, use it sparingly, because with it having salt in it, I mean, obviously it has salt in it anyway, but with it being salted butter, it obviously has that like little bit extra. As you can probably tell from the lighting in this clip, it is actually a lot later now. I got ready, I made some of the content that I wanted to make today and now it's a lot later and I'm actually going to wrap some birthday presents. So as I've mentioned I'm going away next week and my trip coincides with two family birthdays. I have my cousin's birthday which is the day that I go away and my dad's birthday which is the day after I come back. I figured the best thing that I could do was to sort their birthday things out before I went away. Obviously my cousin was going to need his before I went away anyway because I'm not going to be here. Also this vlog will go up, I think it's going to go up on my dad's birthday so um, I'm fine to put this in they both should have had their presents by the time this goes up. The other day I bought this wrapping paper and I don't think it's going to show very well but it's literally like an iridescent wrapping paper. 
I bought it for my dad's present, but I'm going to wrap my cousin's present in it as well. And I'm going to show you what I've got them both. And like I said, my cousin's birthday will have been and gone by the time this um, vlog goes up. So I know that he is going to be completely fine uh, to show you the present because he'll have had it by um, the time this vlog goes up. My dad, I'm not 100% sure. But I'll go and get the presents now and I'll show you them and then I'm going to go and wrap them. One of the presents is there. Both of these presents are kind of serious presents, but a little bit jokey as well. So I'll start with my cousin's present. He's going to be 11. We were having a conversation about like what kind of things he's interested in and all of that kind of stuff. He told me some things he was interested in and I said to him he needed something what occupied his time. He would love something that was gonna kind of be something that he would sit for a long time and do. So I mentioned Rubik's Cubes to him and he really liked the idea. So I got him a Rubik's Cube. And then I'm also going to get him some balloons because obviously I'm not here. So I'm going to get him some of those big helium balloons. And then this one is my dad's present. I think the bag looked deceivingly small when it was over there. Some of you may remember if you watched Vlogmas last year because my dad's birthday is actually in Vlogmas. It's on the 3rd of December. Um, some of you may remember that I got my dad the Lego Porsche because it was his 50th birthday and he always said for his 50th birthday he would have a Porsche. Technically he does, just not one that he can drive. And my dad saw this one and he hasn't stopped talking about it since. So I think I've made a good choice. It's the one that he saw, it's the one that he wanted. Um, the one that he's talked about, the one that he got so excited about in the shop, I don't mean literally, but like he saw it and he was like, if I was to have another Lego set, that would be the one that I would want. I don't really know much about what this Lego set is, like what it's supposed to represent, but when I was getting it down off the shelf, there was a man and woman at the side of me, Katie went with me to go and get it, um, there was a man and woman at the side of us and the man said, oh that's a good choice and I said it was for my dad, I got him the Porsche last year, now he's getting this one and the man was like there's some good choices um, and he said that my dad is starting to get a really good collection going. The man also joked that if he gave me his address could my dad send this to him because he really wanted it and my dad's like me he likes anything like this and i guess really i'm like my dad in that sense rather than him being like me he likes doing stuff like this he likes things where he has to think and like all of that kind of stuff but it's also relaxing i don't think you're ready for how big this box is <clears throat> i have no idea what this is in real life. All I know is it's a motorbike and my dad really likes motorbikes and motorbike racing which is why I think when he saw it he was a bit like yep this is the one that I'd want. It's a motorbike. It's a where's the it's a BMW Motorrad. They had one built up in the shop when my dad saw it um, so he actually saw what it looked like when it was done and he really liked it. Hi Gingy. I managed to get it for him. I think he's going to be really pleased. I'm now going to wrap it and hide it somewhere until I come back off my trip and until my dad's birthday. If anyone's thinking where were you hiding it before in the massive bright yellow bag? I hid it at my mum's house. I'm due to come back off my trip the day before my dad's birthday. So I can give it to him on his birthday then. Yeah, I'm going to take it downstairs. I'm going to take the Rubik's Cube for my cousin as well. And I'm going to wrap them. And then we have another birthday coming up. Taylor's fourth birthday is on Boxing Day. So there'll be another birthday to prepare for. But we can do that in Vlogmas. 
that pile of washing is getting higher and higher it really needs putting away i know before anyone tells me i've just been so busy with everything else i just thought i would give a little quick update in the vlog because today is friday and i haven't gave an update for a while um i think the last day that i spoke to you was maybe monday so like an entire week has passed and the reason for that is because there hasn't really been many updates to give. Something that has happened in the space of time since I last spoke to you is I went for my ultrasound on the lump on my neck here. The, are they called sonographers? Sonographer? The person who did it scanned the lump. They scanned right down to my shoulder, up near my ear and along the bottom of my face and then they scanned the other side in the same place to compare both sides. My results had come back from my ultrasound and they'd concluded that it is just a swollen lymph node that is um, irritated, probably from the cough or whatever is causing the cough. Um, so even though it is swollen and stuff, it's not actually anything to worry about. It is just one of those things that happens basically. So now, I'm at a point where I am still waiting on my ear, nose and throat appointments and everything else has come back like clear. So now it's just a waiting game on the ear, nose and throat department. Do you want to say hi? Say hi. This is going to be my first time that I've been away from home since we got Twinny. Twinny actually arrived with us during the pandemic. So Twinny is actually really used to everyone being home all the time. Um, so I'm not quite sure how he's gonna react to me not being home. Over the next couple of days, there's like three days until I go away now. So um, over the next couple of days, I do just have plans to just kind of prepare and get everything ready. And, and then next week, pre-Vlogmas begins. And so does Vlogmas. I don't really see myself being having much time to actually sit and edit anyway so I'm just gonna wait until I come back home edit all of the footage that I have but yeah just know that vlogs are coming vlogmas is coming I do have plans to do it um I'm not sure how much is gonna be left in this vlog and then after this vlog the next time you see me will be pre-vlogmas and the Christmas Eve uploads so good afternoon you guys today is actually Saturday and I think this is probably going to be either the last day or the second to last day of this vlog. I've tinted my brows this morning. They always look absolutely crazy when I first tint them. And especially when I don't have any makeup on. But I promise over the next couple of days they will start to look a little bit better. Some other good news is my cough is feeling a little bit better. I am still coughing quite a bit. But I... I'm not suffering as much as I was. This morning I got up, I got in the shower, tinted my eyebrows and now I'm going to put some more things in my suitcase ready for my trip. Um, I've been adding things as and when I've thought of them but I made a list. Um, I'm actually taking my suitcase and I'm also taking my backpack and in my backpack I'm going to keep all of the things that I don't want to be away from me so like my phone charger my camera all of that kind of stuff so i actually already have quite a large portion of the things that i want to take with me in the case especially things that i'm not going to be using in the meantime but i do have a few things that like i'm going to be using up until i go so i can't really put them in now because i'm going to need them in the meantime and then for the backpack which are most likely going to be things that I can't put in until close to the time. I've got my camera and charger, my phone charger, hairbrush, hair straighteners, makeup and wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, my pill and my travel sickness tablets. <laughs> so I think I've put everything in that I can for the time being. The only things that are left that I haven't put in yet is like jewellery, deodorant and perfume, camera, charger, phone charger, hairbrush, hair straighteners, makeup, makeup wipes, toothbrush, toothpaste and my pill and travel sickness tablets. I'm trying to decide with my things like jewellery and deodorant and perfume and stuff, I don't know whether to put those 
in my backpack or in my suitcase. Today is Sunday. I've just been to Costa with Katie and I'm about to have my dinner. For the past like 15 minutes I've been choking on my own spit. Today I went in search of some balloons for my cousin because his birthday is actually on the day that I go away. I've got his gift up there ready to take onto his tomorrow, um, ready for his birthday whilst I'm not here. But I also got him, I don't know if you can see in there, some of the giant number balloons um so i'll be taking them on as well got his card as well but i think i'm gonna end this vlog here there's only one more day until pre-vlogmas begins and i think that day is just gonna be filled with me trying to get stuff done um before my trip and i don't think it's gonna make for very good vlog footage so i'm gonna end the vlog here also, I need to clear my memory cards and everything, charge the camera batteries in time for Vlogmas beginning. Um, but yes, I'm going to end this vlog here. This will be the last November vlog before the Christmassy vlogs begin, so I really hope that you're going to enjoy the Christmassy vlogs this year. We've got pre-Vlogmas and then Vlogmas itself come round so quick. But yes, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I really hope that you liked it and I shall see you again very soon.